I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response to Exile's video about uh, conflated terms and uh, and numbers. Animal the Victor 13 also did a great video about how researchers have been frustrated, tearing their hair out with frustration because they can't get straight numbers to uh, you know do their statistical calculations on. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I have been called a conspiracy theorist for a very long time, and there's a good reason for it. There are real conspiracies in the world. If you ask the question, who benefits, you will find out who committed a crime. And if you want to figure out who is having you on and who is not uh, telling you the truth uh, as to why something is happening, well, that's the question you've got to ask. Why? Why are we doing this? Because an educator or someone who is working for your benefit or the greater social good, if there is such a thing, or who is trying to involve you in a better way of seeing the world, will tell you why. They'll sit down, they'll chew the fat with you, they might even do it on an open form or record it so that you might be able to answer future questions. They'll, they'll, these are the people who write FAQs, okay, and give genuine answers in the FAQs. Then you get the other kind who are manipulators. People like Gloria Steinem saying that India does not need education on AIDS. Uh, people like... Uh, what's the word? Uh, people like Gail Dines saying that um, sex negativity uh, and basically just lying about the porn industry is okay. Okay? These people, okay... These are secondary manipulators, and they are used by primary manipulators who are keeping us from asking the two-year-old child's question, why? Why can't we, you know, why aren't these useful solutions being implemented? Why aren't all these technologies that people were talking about years ago uh, being looked at as a reasonable solution, you know? Why? They're flim-flamming us. We're being kept in our place. We're being distracted, like how you distract a two-year-old kid with toys and amusements so you don't have to answer their annoying, incessant question. It's only one question, really. Why? If you really want to change the power structure, you have to change it on the grassroots level. You have to start an entire country, an entire planet, everyone in a who's able to understand a single message in a single language, or even... A form of a single language to ask one question you have to get them asking why you have to show them where things have worked in the past and the more reasonable the example the stronger the question is worded why why aren't we doing this are there technologies that could get us around uh, having a co2 footprint if climate change is a real problem okay why aren't we using them why aren't we phasing them in why is an industry, uh, you know, doing what's in its financial best interest? Because if climate change is going to unleash an apocalypse on us, isn't that going to screw over all their business plans? They'll bitch about it, yet they don't do anything to change it. They get us to worry about it and blame ourselves, yet they never give us a reason, uh, an ability for us to change it. Say, so, you know, I don't know, change the light bulbs, plant some trees. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Talk about prostitution, talk about, um, you know, sex negative, negative issues, you know, um, demonize the porn industry, whatever. Never, ever, ever do they like having an entire group of people who they're trying to keep in ignorance, which perpetuates their long-term goals as public speakers and people who are non-constructive entities that don't have to work. Never do they like that entire group saying, well, look, we've been studying the trivium, where you study the rhetoric, which is what people say, the grammar, which is what people do, and the logic, which is what people are thinking, and how. And never do they like those people saying, well, now we've studied all that, we're looking at your stuff, and it doesn't seem to add up. And we learned about the question, key bono, who benefits? You know, you're making a lot of money off your public speaking engagements. You're not really doing a lot to alleviate poverty. I mean, raising awareness is one thing, yet it's not coupled with, you know, anything practical. It's just wasting people's time and money. And there are people that make a... that keep the system going and keep running it into the ground uh, 
and these people keep it going by distracting us with these reactionary forces like the men's rights movements, like the sex negative uh, feminists, like, you know, anti-anything, like the eco-village people who have some good ideas and concepts for how to convert uh, an urban area into a uh, eco-friendly urban area yet will get stuck sidetracked on something completely ridiculous like UFOs or uh, Atlantis. I've heard of that and the United Nations sponsors it. Don't believe me, look up Dem and her. And the more you look at it, the simpler it becomes. We need to start asking why. And the people who aren't willing to give explanations uh, will try and flim-flam you even harder. And the people who are trying to give you explanations and have solid answers will be able to do so. And the people who genuinely are true believers in certain issues yet don't have all the answers uh, will either stop being honest and start becoming flim-flammers or they will start standing with you and asking why. And I'm not going to lie to you. The day you start asking why en masse, everybody becomes a two-year-old kid, the people that are really going to lose their ability to not have to do any constructive effort into society for the rest of their lives are going to throw everything they've got at you. Every lie, every form of force they can muster, they're going to do everything they can about it. They will happily happily declare war on an innocent country for so people will stop bitching about why gas prices are high and why there aren't alternative forms of engines out there. I mean, seriously, 20 years of researching we can't build an electric car that has more of a charge in the batteries? No. This long bickering we can't form better hydrogen splitters so that solar powered hydrogen splitters can split hydrogen off water and basically increase the amount of oxygen around while having the local service station slash petrol station have its own hydrogen generation facility? No, not happening. Why aren't they happening? All you need to do to turn the whole world into four, two, three, four year old kids who ask why all the time is just to show them what works in practical, reasonable ways and it becomes so obvious who is benefiting off uh, the quagmire the society is in and who really, really wants it to get better. And you'll find that almost everybody wants it to get better. Anyway, I'm sorry for taking up your time. I hope you've enjoyed listening to this. Well, if you're anything like me, you've probably been playing Left 4 Dead 2 or something. However, this is the solid solution. This works. Why? Why are we doing this? I'm Ozzy Griffin. And why are you watching me? <laughs>